Sometimes when I take a screenshot, I need to make some edits to it, whether I need to crop it or I need to put some writing on it or something like that. There are often some changes I need to make. But how do I do that with a screenshot? If you're confused about this as well and you're using the Windows Snipping tool on a PC, I will show you how to edit your screenshot using that tool today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to show you how to edit your screenshots on a PC. First of all, if you haven't watched the other videos in this series, I would recommend at least watching the overview of how to use the Windows Snipping tool. The link to that video is above me now. For those who have already been using the snipping tool, you're all ready to go. Let's talk about how to edit those screenshots. In this video, I'll cover a couple different ways that you can edit your screenshot. First, we'll look at the basic editing tools that are actually in the window snipping tool. And then we'll also look at how to take your screenshot and put it into the paint tool to make some changes. We'll start off by looking at the editing tools in the snipping tool. We'll start by doing a screenshot in case you've forgotten how to do that. I've already opened the snipping tool and I'll start a new snip. And now I will just take a quick screenshot of part of the screen. And we can see it's blinking down here at the bottom. So I'll open that up and move this so I can see the whole thing. The reason I started from the snipping tool in this case, instead of using the shortcut that we've talked about in the past, that shortcut is the Windows key, Shift key, S is in screenshot. You hold those down at the same time and it'll bring up the snipping tool without you bringing up the actual app. The reason I didn't use that in this case is because I know that I'm going to need to use the editing tools within the snipping tool. So I might as well have the snipping tool open in the first place. So I've taken my snip, and now once you have a snip in here, down at the bottom, you have some editing tools. You can choose to use the ballpoint pen, you can choose a color, and you can write things on the image. You can use the highlighter in the same way. You can choose a color there and highlight on the image. We'll do just some pink on there so you can see what that looks like. And then the eraser tool is the next one. It will not erase anything on the picture. As far as the picture itself, it will erase anything that you added. So in this case, I could take the eraser and I could erase part of what I just did or all of it. And you can see when you click the eraser, you do have the option to just erase all ink that you put on there. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more videos in the future? If so, you can click the subscribe button that's below the video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click the bell icon, that will give you notifications each time a new video is posted. If you feel that you need a ruler to do something as far as your editing, you can use this here. If you click again, you will see that there's also a protractor. So that's an option. And then to get rid of that, you just click on it again. You click and you can click the option that you chose before and it'll go away. So click it to turn it on, click it again to turn it off. The next option, if you have a touch screen, is touch writing. So you can use that if you have a touch screen. And then probably the thing you'll use the most is this last one, which is an image crop. And then I can shrink this down to just be a portion if I got way more than I meant to. I can shrink that down. I can zoom in on it. I can do all kinds of things here. If I don't want to do my crop, I can cancel it and then I can hit the check mark when I'm done. And then of course there are the undo and the redo options there at the bottom. And those are the basic editing tools that exist in the window snipping tool. Once you've made your edits, you can go click save and save it to a new location if you want to or save a copy remember that your original is always in the clipboard area if you needed to get to it. If you have a situation where you need to do a little more editing than just what we did here, you can always take your screenshot and drop it into the paint program. 
So first I'm going to go ahead and open paint. I'm going to go search for it. I find that the easiest way to find it. And then you can click on it and open it up. You can see there's quite a few more options here. I can add shapes, a lot more things I can do with the colors. I'm going to shrink my picture up here a little bit so that we can see more of it. So you can see there's lots more options in paint. I'm going to go back over to my snipping tool. I'm going to just copy it. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to use the shortcut for paste. And there's my image. So now I can start to use all the paint tools. I won't go into all of the different things you can do in paint, but I wanted you to know that you can drop it right into paint. You can also, if you have an image saved, a screenshot saved, you can go and you can open it through paint. Come here and open that image or screenshot through paint. So you can paste it like I just did, or you can open it as its own image so that you don't have all the other white space here. Sometimes that can be a little bit cleaner for working with your screenshot. Now that you know how to edit your screenshot, you can get that screenshot just the way you want. You can even add arrows and things like that in paint. So you can make that screenshot whatever you need it to be. If you still feel like you need some help with this or any other tech challenge, you can always schedule a tech stress breakthrough call with me. You can do that by clicking the heart that's in the monitor right now above me, or you can go to my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com and click on the Let's Talk button. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.